Big Mighty God did it again. You woke up on the right side of the dirt, so let's give God a praise. This is John Lakin and Friends. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, John Lakin, and welcome to John Lakin and Friends. Welcome to John Lakin and Friends. We are so excited that you decided to worship with us today. We're about to lift up a song that says, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. I love you, I love you. Come on, put your hands on it.
God. Clap your hands for me to live as Christ and to die as gain. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, John Lakin, and I'm honored to invite you and your family to celebrate with my church family, Glory Temple Worship Center, as we celebrate Founders Day 2024. Our guests will be none other than Apostle P.F. Chambers and our pastor and our leader, Dr. Sally Lakin, is honored to invite you and your family to worship with us. This will happen on May 26th at 4 p.m. at Glory Temple Worship Center, 1235 Clarkson Road. You do not want to miss it. God bless you. What's up, everybody? This is John Lakin, and I wanted to just take a moment for us to have communion and devotion. Uh, scripture today is going to be Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. It says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Listen, as we embark upon this new year, I want to be very clear to you that God has every intention on doing something new and remarkable in your world. Understand that all we have to do is focus on heaven. If we focus on Jesus and we seek God first, everything that we desire will come together for our good. He said, don't remember the things of old. Sometimes we've got to learn to forget. When we learn to forget the things that are behind us, we can put our energy and our strength towards the things that God has before us. There is coming an hour that will require your strength. So conserve your energies for things that matter. All that matters is what you do for Christ. This is going to be the best year of your life. It will not be without struggle, but it will be the year of your greatest victory. We believe it by faith. So enjoy the new thing. I can't live without them. Come on. Oh, we're going back 20 years for this. This is an old, an old number from the first record. I want you to help us sing it if you ever heard it before. find ourselves in trouble because we are reacting to certain things that are happening and we have never had barriers or limits. I, I used to tell students that the reason why the father's voice is so strong is the father teaches you discipline and limitation. They teach you how far you can go and how, how you can't, you know, going too far is a real thing. So how do you share a message like that with our young people? I mean, I pretty much let them know that there's nothing wrong with self-talk. Mm, uh, come on. You know, and sometimes, even if it takes for you to just walk off and talk to yourself for maybe 10 mm -hmm. seconds until you calm down and get it together, mm -hmm. as long as you find a, a solution, you know, to kind of control the anger and control the emotions, mm -hmm. I feel like you win. And I also teach them, you know, to stop thinking irrational, because when you think irrational, nine times out of 10, those are the consequences that you're going to get. Yeah. So turn your negatives into something positive, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's what I kind of like you know, 
teach me and let them know, you know, sometimes you you may not have the answers for everything. So when you don't, it's not wrong with asking questions, you know, yeah. especially with the people that you know that probably been through the same situation that you've been through.
How did you hold on to your faith during the growth <laughs> of your journey with being a single mother, with so much responsibility, as well as, you know, growing in business and having to nurture the home? How did you handle that balance? Wow, John. If I had hair on my chin, I would say by the hair of my chinny chin chin. chin. Like, sometimes it was that, that, you know, fragility of faith is that mm. close. Like, oh, uh, you know, it, my it, God. it always came down to either God is or he isn't. And mm. if he is, great. If he's not, there's something else. And it was, faith is not easy. It's yes. not always fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it. we paint fairy tale around faith like it's this beautiful, magical, whimsical, universal energy thing. Oh, yeah. It's a battle right here. Come on. You're talking right now. So, you know, I work out avidly. I'm looking at my Peloton. I go to Pilates in the morning. Like, I, I box. I love working out, right? Mm -hmm. Faith is that same muscle. If you don't use it, then the harder it is going to believe in something. My Because God. of believing in something from somebody who you've never seen, hmm. whose audible voice is not like the voice of God. It's yeah. your inner it's your inner leading and spirit. I mean, it, Come all of it makes absolutely no sense. But Come that's on. what faith is. That's why it's faith. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Anybody got a made up mind for the rest of your life? You gonna serve the Lord? Here we go. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, John Lakin, and I'm honored to invite you and your family to celebrate with my church family, Glory Temple Worship Center, as we celebrate Founders Day 2024. Our guests will be none other than Apostle P.F. Chambers and our pastor and our leader, Dr. Sally Lakin, is honored to invite you and your family to worship with us. 
This will happen on May 26th at 4 p.m. at Glory Temple Worship Center, 1235 Clarkson Road. You do not want to miss it. God bless you. Authenticity is important. Be authentically yourself. Everybody's designed to, to, to fully self-actualize, and God intends for us to be the best versions of ourselves, the version that He wants us to be that's aligned to His will. Understand and try to figure out what that version of you is, and understand that it is not fixed and finite. It, invol- it evolves as situations and, and age and experience. That version of you does evolve, so you don't have to be fixed in one way. God doesn't want you planted and fixed in one way. So be authentically yourself. The second thing is always be courageous. If God is on your side, then just trust. I I think faith lies, uh, uh, courageousness lies in faith. As strong as your faith is, the more courageous you'll be. So if you have a strong faith and you're willing to take the risk, the chances to do the things that are the, that are the important things, the right things to do, that are aligned with His will, that you know you're supposed to do, but stand firm and be courageous in your works. And then always lean on the truth. The truth will never, ever, ever let you go the wrong way. Be and lean on the truth. Be truthful to yourself, be truthful to others, and use the word as your truth. And do those things as a leader, Uh, as an individual, and I I am confident that you will have not only uh, all the success that that your heart, uh, uh, to your heart's content, but you'll be pleasing uh, to God by doing those things and you'll continue to be blessed. So, and the more responsible you are, the more you'll get. Shout the greatness of the Lord.